commercial driver's license. So Natasha, here we are mm. finally talking about that potential for snow in our area. So that will impact people on their commutes. Yeah, we've been talking about this a lot in the newsroom, just letting everyone know, just be prepared for winter type driving, whether you're heading over mountain passes or you live in the hillsides, anywhere between about a thousand to two thousand feet because it is getting much colder starting next week. Now, let's see if this little weather beacon has been forecasting our weather properly. Standards weather beacon, if you know the story behind it, or maybe you don't, this is what it means. So if the beacon is flashing at all, any color, it means that rain's on the way. Now, if it's that red color, that means we're expecting an increase in our temperatures of more than five degrees. Now, if it's just white, we're expecting a decrease in our temperature of more than five degrees. And then of course, if it's green, that means we're expecting not much of a change in our temperature. And that's what we're seeing right now. Ridgefield, it's 42. You have the rain right there. Up and down I-5, wet roads. We'll see, of course, all of this rain kind of come to an end later on tonight. Temperature-wise for us this evening, we drop down to about 40 degrees close to midnight. After we get past midnight, now we're creeping into the upper 30s. And at that time, that's when our snow levels will be getting closer to about 3,000 feet. So if you're doing any late night driving tonight, heading up to Mount Hood, remember that. Keep that in mind. Here's what tomorrow looks like. Mostly cloudy the entire day. This is your dry break, but it's also mostly cloudy. So not expecting much for sunshine. Temperatures in the morning, low 40s. We get to the afternoon, we're hitting 46 and we're stopping right there. So these temperatures below normal. Highway 26 government camp, you can see the road is still just wet, but it's going to be full of snow by the time we get to Sunday. Let's look at that snow level forecast. Notice how the line drops down pretty dramatically as soon as we get to Sunday night. So we're going from roughly about 4,000, 3,500 feet over the weekend to about 1,500 feet as we get into next Monday and Tuesday. So what's 1,500 feet? Well, that's Sunset Highway. If you're taking Highway 26 between Portland and Seaside, by Monday morning, you could be running into snow actually sticking on the road right there at Sunset Summit. So keep that in mind. What about Sylvan Hill? That's at about 700 feet. Could you see any snow falling? You might see it fall, but getting it to stick is going to require colder temperatures to stick to the valley floor too. Will that happen? Well, as we look at our future cast, noticing all our wet weather tonight going out to the east, Saturday is our dry break. We get to Sunday early in the morning. There's your rain. We have an onshore flow. In the valley, we have a southerly flow. And whenever we see that southerly flow, that tends to mean temperatures will be just a little bit too warm for us on the valley floor to see any freezing temperatures but you'll certainly get it right here in the foothills. And of course, you can expect snow on those mountain passes by the time we get to Sunday night into Monday. Winter storm watch will be in effect until Monday morning. Now we get to Monday middle of the day. We'll start to see a break in the precipitation right back to it. We'll see this come in waves Monday night going into Tuesday morning. Here's Tuesday afternoon. Again, the possibility of running into snow into some of our foothills. Something that we're going to be watching closely is what happens on Thursday. Guess what takes place if we can get this offshore flow winds from the east, dragging in really cold air from just east of the Cascades and drop it right off here in the valley. That could equal some low elevation snow down to the valley floor, but that's still more than a week away. So we'll be watching that carefully. Temperatures for you next week. We're going from the mid 40s to the upper 30s for daytime highs next Thursday and Friday. So that certainly looks pretty promising, getting that cold pool of air to come on in. But again, that's about a week away. Temperatures overnight for us over the weekend go from the low 40s to the low 30s by the time we hit Monday night going into early Tuesday morning. So again, if you live in the foothills, this is going to be something you want to watch very closely. And if you want more on your seven day forecast or anything else, we are writing about this every day. All you have to do is go to coin.com. Coin 6 News, we'll be right back.